Hello, my name is Dick Feeney. Welcome to my show. Before we had the ABCs of old American cars, today we're going to have the ABCs of foreign cars. When I was a kid, I was always interested in cars. I used to draw them by the hundreds, and I knew all the makes and models and, and uh, had them all memorized. But by the time I was in high school, I was a little bit tired of the work at A. Fords and Chevys that I saw around here. And so I looked for something else more exciting. And it fell on this. The hot rod movement was in full swing in the early 50s, and I thought it was the greatest. There were all these ways to make old cars go faster and handle better. I got this book 50 years ago because of the hot rods, but when I opened it, I discovered all the fast and exotic sports cars that were coming from overseas. I was forever hooked. I've owned a few of them, but I couldn't afford them all, so I started to collect pictures of them, and that's what you'll see today. A is for AC Ace. This English sports car of the 50s, when its Bristol engine was starting to become no longer competitive, uh, Carroll Shelby came along and uh, made it to the Ford 289 V8 and uh, produced the uh, Shelby Cobra. This was a fantastic racing car and uh, it is the most replicated car in the world. A is for Alfa Romeo. This Italian car with a boat tail was from the 1930s. In 1930, the first three places were run by Alfa Romeos in the Irish Tourist Trophy race. Nuvolari, Campari, and Varzi were the three drivers. This was the third place car driven by Achille Varzi. This is another Alfa Romeo 1930 sports car with cycle fenders. And this is a 1932 Indianapolis eight cylinder model. Notice the crank. Here's a very nice uh, 1938 sports car. And the futuristic Alfa Romeo Bat. One of the more uh, famous Alfa Romeos was the Giulietta, very popular in the mid 50s. And right up to the latest GTV for 2000 being reintroduced into the United States. A is for Allard. The J2X from England was developed from an old hill climber, but uh, they powered it with a Cadillac V8 engine and it was third at Le Mans in 1950. This K2 Allard was similar to the one that won the Monte Carlo Rally in 1952. Amphicar, this West Germany car was doubled as a boat. Aston Martin, the DBR2 made in England, was second at Le Mans in 1956 with Sterling Moss and Collins driving it. The DB5 made famous by James Bond and Goldfinger. And the DB7 just out, 400 horsepower V12 engine that does 182 miles an hour. A is for Audi. This is the TT. Germany remembers its pre-war racing heritage in this car. The Austin Midget. Very popular car in the 30s and later manufactured in the United States and became the American Bantam. Another version of the Austin was the Austin Healey. It was designed by Donald Healey with the big Austin engine in it. And uh, this particular car was taken in Tripoli. The Austin Healey 106 was a six cylinder version, had a four speed plus an overdrive. And this particular one was mine. The Austin Healey Bug Eye Sprite. This was uh, Healy's answer to the MG. B is for Bentley, the proud English winner of the 1929 Le Mans. Vittori Bugatti called them the world's fastest trucks. The slightly less expensive version of the Rolls Royce. 
BMW, the Bavarian Motor Works, is what the BMW stands for. This 30 sports car was taken in Bavaria. The BMW 507 in the late 50s sports car, only 253 of them were made. And the 99 BMW M Roadster with 240 horsepower. The Type 35 Bugatti is a famous racer driven by Novellari to beat the much bigger German cars in pre-war races. It was built by Atari Bugatti in Mosham, France, in a building that looked much like this, and except that this building was taken in North Hudson, Wisconsin, and the sign was put up by a company that restored the cars. This is a Type 57 coupe sought after by the rich and famous. This one restored by Le Cars of Cameron, Wisconsin. The Type 41, the Royale, the car of kings, the largest ever built, had a wheelbase of 14 feet. And Bugatti also got into the airplane business and built this uh, Model 100 racer in 1937. It has twin engines and counter-rotating propellers and was hidden from the Nazis during World War II, now on display in the EAA Museum in uh, Oshkosh. C is for Citroen. Here we have on the left a 2CV, which was the uh, ultimate and minimum transportation, complete with a window shade top. And on the right is the, uh, a 1952 Traction Avant, which means front wheel drive. The DS21 with the hydraulic suspension. This is an adjustable su suspension that when you start the motor up, you push the lever and the car raises up to any height that you want to travel at. You can get it real high to go over rough terrain or let it ride real low to, to look sleek. It also sinks down when it's parked. This is an SM71. This is, has a Maserati V8 engine in it. D is for Datsun, the famous 240Z, 260Z, and this is the 280Z, came from Japan and were one of the highest selling sports cars ever. They were to replace the Austin Healey. This one happens to be my present toy. D is for DeLorean. All designed by the American John Z. DeLorean, it was built in Ireland and had a Renault engine in it had gull wing doors. And this was the time machine in Back to the Future. The Di Tommaso Pantera was built in Italy by an Argentinian, was Ford powered and sold to Ford dealers in the United States. E is for Elba. This was primarily a sports racer it was very low, it had a small displacement engine, but it was very fast, and it was quite a speedy car. F is for Faso Vega from France. It had a big American Hemi V8 in it. F is for Ferrari, probably the most famous sports car of all, made in Italy. This particular car ran in the 1953 Mille Miglia cross country race, which is a thousand miles around the peninsula of Italy. The number 447 was its starting time. It started at 447 in the morning. The uh, 293 is its 1998 Mille Miglia number in which it ran in the Mille Miglia tour. It's no longer a race, but it's done as, as a fairly high speed rally. This is a 1952 coupe. Bodies were built by many different bodybuilders. This one is a Spahn body from Germany. Ferraris are known for their racing. This is a big V12 in the foreground here. This, this engine has a tremendous screech when it's running. A V12 has got so many more uh, impulses coming out of it. Instead of just a roar, it's a screech. 
This is a Ferrari Testarossa 250. Testarossa means red head with a special head that they put on it. And this is a Ferrari GTO. Ferrari used this nomenclature long before Pontiac used it. This is a rear engine Ferrari. A modern sports racer for the man's type race. And the 308 streetcar. F is also for Fiat. This is the 500 Topolino, which means Mickey Mouse in Italian. Because of the way the headlights stand up, it looks like Mickey Mouse's ears. This is an 850, a more modern counterpart. And also the 850 Spider, both front and, and side views of it here. Very nice little sports car, rear engined. F is for Ford of England. This is called the Ford Anglia. This one's slightly hot rotted, but uh, this is typical of the English cars of the early 50s. And this is a Ford Fiesta that's been made into a convertible. F is for Fraser Nash. This is what they call the chain gang machine. It was all chain drive. Even the transmission was, was uh, shifted by sliding sprockets back and forth on a shaft. This was a Millimedia version. And uh, actually, the Fraser Nash has no relation to the Nash of the American Motors. G is for Geo. This is a 1990 Geo Storm. This was General Motors' world car, but it was actually built in Japan. H is for Healy. This is the Silverstone. This was built by Donald Healy, the famous racer and rally driver. This is the forerunner to the Austin Healey. This was the uh, Healey sports car. It's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a plush convertible, but th this was the direct uh, ancestor of the Austin Healey. Honda of Japan first came to the S U.S. in the early 70s. This is a Honda Prelude and a Del Sol sports car. And this is the Honda CRX team were winners of the Goodman Cup ice races on Altoona Lake. HRG is another vintage English sports car. I is for Iso Griffo from Italy. The power was by a big American V8. I is also for Isuzu from Japan. Started assembling British Wolseley in 1918. And worked up to build these cars and were first imported into the United States in 1961. J is for Jaguar. This is the pre-war SS100, a very desirable car, Be beautiful swooping fenders to it. The SS actually stood for Swallow Sidecar Company, which was the original company. In 1948, they came out with the XK120, and it did 132 miles an hour. It was quite a, a jump in speed from the pre-war cars. This is a XK120 Roadster. Now the Roadster had uh, a minimal top and, and side curtains. They also built a solid coupe. And this is the next step up was the XK140, and this is what they called the drop head coupe, which is a, has full roll-up windows and padded top. Next step was the XK150, was a slightly modified uh, front end. But along in between, they were building the racing models, and this is the famous D-Type. They were winner at Le Mans in 1957, and these belonging to Briggs Cunningham were winners at Elkhart Lake in 1957. They came in one, two, and four. There are the, the back of the D-Jags. Uh, Briggs Cunningham himself is standing there next to the cab of the truck eating a sandwich. This is the XKSS, was the next step. This is a street version of the Racing D Jaguar. There are only 11 of them built. 
The next step was the XKE, and this was uh, designed specifically for Briggs Cunningham to race. You see it has a 60 racing number on it there. But uh, it was made entirely of aluminum, and you can see the rivets along the side of the uh, body. It was riveted up out of aluminum. And this is the first XKE street version. And the beautiful XKE coupe. And now they still produce sports cars, and they have the, the XK8 Roadster and the XK180 prototype. J is also for Jensen. This is the Interceptor II. It had a big American V8 in it. And then they uh, teamed up with Je uh, Healy again to make the Jensen Healy. This is the final of Donald Healy's hybrids. K. K is for KDF Wagon. It was the name of the Nazi people's car in until 1938. It stood for Kraft Dirt Schrude, which meant strength through joy. And this is the dedication of the Wolfsburg factory by Adolf Hitler in 1936. You can see it already is starting to look like a Volkswagen. L is for Lada. This is a Russian-built Fiat. They were never imported into the United States, but they were available in Canada. This picture was taken in Th Thunder Bay. You can see three of them off on the right there. L is for Lamborghini, the Mira P400 V12. And the most famous Lamborghini was the Counter. It had the uh, scissors type doors that swinged up forward. And also the Lamborghini LM2000. This is the ultimate in high speed off road vehicles. L is for Lister. This was a Lister Jaguar. They were owned by Briggs Cunningham and won at Road America in 1958. L is for Lotus. This is the Lotus 11. It was an 1100 cc racer that came to the U.S. in 1956. This is the Lotus Europa. This is a rear engine sports car. It came in 1967. And the first of spirits came in 1971. M is for Maserati. This is Jim Kimberly of the Kimberly Clark Company sitting at the wheel. This is his 4.5 liter at Road America in 1957. In 1960, they came out with the Type 61. It was called the birdcage because of the frame. It was made of intricate truss of tiny tubes to make it strong but very light. And this is a Maserati Ghibli from 1968. It's a street coupe, and the name means desert storm. M is for Mazda from Japan. This is the RX-7 sports car with the rotary engine. And the smaller MX-3. And the popular MX-5 Miata. And here is a very racy version of the 2000 Miata. M is Mercedes for Mercedes-Benz, the oldest auto company. This is an SSK. This is the classic 540K of the late 30s. And the famous Gullwing 300SL of 1954. It's called Gullwing because of the way the doors open up. This is the 300SLR. It was driven by Sterling Moss in the Milli Miglia of 1955 and won it. Very famous drive set a record that's never been beaten. M is for MG. This is a 1933 J2 model. MG originally stood for Morris Garage. The 1948 TC model, the car that started the sports car bug in the U.S. Very, very classic lines to it. 
Next came the MGTD in 1950, and this one was mine. Then came the MGA in 1957, followed by the MGB in 1963. M is also for, for Mitsubishi. This is the 3000 GT from Japan. Mitsubishi also gave us the uh, Japanese Zero fighter plane in World War II. We didn't particularly appreciate that one too much. M is for Morgan. This English company started out building three wheeler, wheelers and later converted over to the four wheeler and are still produced today. Morris, this is the Morris Miner, the Woody station wagon. It was a great handling everyday car with torsion bar suspension. Anna is for Nash Healy, another of Donald Healy's hybrids, using a Farina body and an American Nash Ambassador engine. And this was the racing version of the Nash Healy that ran in the 1953 Le Mans and in the Mille Miglia. And it's for Nissan, which was formerly uh, marketed as Datsun. This is the 300ZX, the last of the Z cars. O is for Opel. This is a GM of Germany's Tri at a Mini Corvette. O is for Asuka, the famous Italian twin cam racer of the 50s. P is for Porsche. Ferdinand Porsche, designer of the Volkswagen, started building sports cars out of leftover Volkswagen Jeep parts after World War II. This is a 54 model taken in Munich, and you can see the uh, cobblestones of the streets of Munich. This is a 58 Speedster, classic roadster. In 1965, the 911 came out and is still being built today in modern form. It has, has wider wheel wells and, and bigger tires, but the uh, body is still basically the same body. This is the famous 550 racer, which was followed by the RSK racer. And right on up to the uh, Gulf Mirage Le Mans type racer. There's quite a bit of swoop to this car. and f finishing off with the 1999 Boxster. Well, after searching for, uh, through all the magazines that I could find, I could find no foreign car manufacturer with the letter Q that started with the letter Q. But R is for Renault. This is the uh, French people's car. This is a Renault Caravelle in 1967. This is a 79 Renault Alpine, was developed for racing and for events like the Monte Carlo Rally. R is for Rolls Royce, for years to considered to be the best car in the world. This car once belonged to the Queen's Purse Bearer and was imported by Tom Worth for the Auto Memories Museum that was between Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. It has a three-stage top. The uh, front part over the chauffeur can be folded down as it is there. The second part can be folded over the, the back windows or it can fold the whole top all the way down flat for parades for the dignitary to be seen. This is the famous Rolls-Royce Flying Lady Radiator Cap. This is a 1937 Aero Coupe developed from original drawings by Le Cares of Cameron, Wisconsin. This car has won at uh, many uh, concours, uh, including the one at Pebble Beach, California. And this is a 1966 Cornish convertible. S is for Saab of Sweden. They developed this small two-stroke car with front-wheel drive. They also built the Sonnet, 
a sporty model that turned out to be unbeatable in ice racing, especially with engine swaps for more power. S's Persiata, an Italian car that used a Volvo engine. And Stanguilini, another Italian used mostly for racing. S is for Sunbeam. This one is a Tiger, was developed from the popular Alpine model of the early 60s. The Tiger had a V8 engine in it. T is for Talbot Lago. This is an exotic French car, has a body built by different coach builders. This particular one was built by Portu in 1937. This is a 39 built by Figoni and Falashi. The ultimate in swoop. They had the steering wheel on the right side, even though in France they drive on the right side of the road. This is a mid 50s Talbot Lego Grand Sport. is for Toyota of Japan, originally marketed in this country as the Toyopet. This is a 1990 Celica GT. And this is a 1990 MR2 rear engine. This is a 96 Supra. And the 2000 Celica. T is for Trabant. This infamous East German plastic bodied two cycle car that came across the border in droves when the wall came down. The pollution of this car is so bad so that they cannot be driven on the highway in the US. T is for Triumph of England. They started building bicycles in 1887. This is a 1948 1800 sports roadster. Next came the TR2 with the cut down doors. This is another one from Africa. You see the Austin Healy behind it there. Next was the TR3, and this one was mine. This is the TR4 at a sports car event in Winona, Minnesota. The GT6 Coupe, and the popular Spitfire, named after the fighter plane. TVR is an offshoot from Triumph, it is a special body built on a Triumph chassis, used pretty much exclusively for racing. There was no manufacturer with the name letter U, so we'll go right to V. V is for Volkswagen. Started out as the KDF wagon, then made into the Kubelwagen Jeep for World War II. This is a 1948 model taken in Germany on the cobblestone streets. This one is an old one with a split back window. This is the familiar Beetle, the noisy rear engine air-cooled four-cylinder with a marginal heater, but the world loved them. In fact, they are still being made in Latin America. People like to upgrade them. Here they have made this one look like a 37 Ford a Rolls Royce, a stretch limo, and even a motorhome. In 1971, they brought out the remake of the Kubelwagen and called it The Thing. The Volkswagen van took some variations too. Here is the handy Westphalia camper. An interesting paint job. Can't tell what you're looking at there. Another stretch job. But for every one of these, you have to have one of these. In 1975, they tried to give up the beetle and substitute it with the rabbit. But in 1998, they went back to the beetle although now it is front engine, front drive, water cooled, and the heater works. V is for Volvo, imported from Sweden, 
was really a sports car in disguise as a sedan. This one was mine. They made excellent ice racers. They also built the P1800 Sports Coupe. WS for Wolsey of England. They made their first car in 1896. Before that, they made sheep shearing equipment. This is a 1958 model. There were no X-rated manufacturers. So we go to Y. Y is for Yugo. Derived from a Fiat and made in Yugoslavia. In 1986, they sold for over th only $3,990. The quality was similar to other Eastern Bloc cars, and it was the source of many jokes. Z is for Zis, the Russian-built limousine for high-level party members. Khrushchev had one. They were scoffed at for copying the American Packard, but they didn't copy it. They bought the body dyes. Well, that's all for today. Look for more shows on history, travel, and planes, trains, and automobiles. Thank you for watching.